Okay, I think it's uh, February 24, Thursday, February 24, day after the attack, like that movie, The Day After. So, I'm in Lviv, and there's a lot of traffic, you know, a lot of cars on the road. I don't know if they're all going to Poland or where they're going, but this is after the rush hour. This is almost lunchtime. I mean, Lviv has bad traffic, but this is like really bad. But you know, what's interesting, if you look at these cars, they're not uh, packed up with luggage. You know, I'm just finding it very strange. You know, the bus is not completely full either. It's like full, but not packed. It's actually more packed uh, on other days, you know, where you can't even breathe. But uh, I don't know, I'm not seeing like evidence that all these people are fleeing the country. Maybe they're just going out of town, you know, so. I'm not sure what uh, this is all about. I was at the currency exchange this morning, so the rates were elevated. You know, it was like uh, you can sell your dollars for 30 grivna and then you can buy dollars for 40. But everybody I was watching in line was uh, selling dollars and euros for local currency. Now, usually in a crisis and a war, people would dump the grivna and buy the dollar, buy the euro, and then all trades would even be done in foreign currencies, I would expect. So, I don't know, maybe people are, uh, see this as like a, a passing thing and a new normal will come. Uh, you know, that they're selling their foreign currency for Grivna. But that was an observation I made this morning. Why are they selling the foreign currency and buying the Grivna? I mean, yes, they're getting a great price for it. You know, maybe uh, they see it as like they can lock in some gains and then things will settle back. You know, so... I am not really uh, sure about that one. Now I'm just walking on the outer perimeter of Avalon here, you know. Uh, so yeah, this is like, uh, you know, this is, um, I have to take you to this abandoned house here. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm just walking on the outside, so Avalon is here. But uh, yeah, it looks like there is some panic today, but uh, uh, you know, a lot of people are getting water too, but you know this as of this morning we had internet electricity water everything is uh, Fine from that regard uh, There was some air raid sirens this morning, you know, they weren't even that loud You know, I had to actually listen for them. I got a message someone told me on the phone Can you hear the air raid sirens? I had to open the window to to listen for them, but uh, now this house Wasn't done by the Russians. This house was always a you know, this is on the back of Avalon. It's an abandoned house. Um, it, it was always a piece of uh, crap, to be honest with you. You know, so, you know, maybe I don't know. Yeah, so this is uh, just the area around Avalon. But I think, I think this will eventually become an apartment building. I'm not sure what this building is, but you always see kids here. It could be an orphanage or something. I'm not sure what this is or if it's a playground or what, what, what is. But you see kids playing here sometimes. This is the kind of way we used to play in America and abandoned lots and stuff when we were kids. You know, um, there's some Ukrainians. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, they're waving and everything. That's cool. So, yeah, you got to keep your head up and smile, you know, in situations like this because there's nothing much you can do. You know, I mean, I don't understand the panic. I mean, best thing to do is wait 24 hours. Now everybody's going to be rushing the border and they'll be stuck in some camps. And the conditions would be a lot worse than if you just stayed put. Uh, you know, I don't see this like uh, wide-scale occupation. They just Russia doesn't have the manpower for that. I see them doing like uh, some bombing and some shock and awe, and then I think uh, we'll get to a new normal of some kind. But uh, everything is functioning. But uh, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, this is the back road to Avalon. You know, there's like a place with storage units um, back down there. I'll go down here. And then um, I'll pause the film. I want to show you some of the other houses. So, yeah, this is this uh, place where you always see the kids. It's kind of beat up and run down. They took away some trees here. A lot of the trees here have disease. A lot of the other people in Avalon were pretty upset why are they removing the trees, but it's actually just the management. A lot of the trees here got sick. 
So, um, yeah, yeah, this is all looks like crap here. We really need to use our community money to clean up this place, you know, be more like Europe. You know, everything looks like, uh, looks like it's been bombed, you know. So, yeah, this looks nice on this side of Avalon, but this is like the back way to Avalon. That's my building there. Have bad light right now. I'm just gonna go on pause and I'll come back. I wanna show you another house in the neighborhood. So this is the shopping center I showed you in the last video from far away. You know, um, so they have Arson, Foxtrot, which is like electronic stores, Jisk, which is like a, a mini Ikea. And then they have a place you can buy nuts. And they have like a pharmacy in there and a place for pet food and a small currency exchange that actually takes Norwegian kroner. So it's been very helpful. And then this is uh, the Nova Poshta. This is like a private postal company. There's Ukraine Post and Nova Poshta. So uh, I've had more experience with these guys getting my vitamins and stuff than the Ukraine Post, but I think they're both pretty good actually. So I'll go on pause one more time. Okay, so these are some houses down the street from Avalon. Um, I don't know, <laughs> they seem a little spooky like haunted houses, you know. Um, but it's actually interesting. I mean, these lands are right on a, right off of a roundabout. So I suspect these are probably some very old people that don't want to sell out. And you know, their kids are waiting for them to pass and then they will accept an offer or maybe even they'll develop some property here. I don't know, but it's uh, yeah. And then up straight ahead is a auto garage and a restaurant called The Garage. That's a Globus project. I think it's called Globus. Uh, Washington or something like that George Washington or something because that is like George Washington Street over there interestingly enough so uh, This house here is one of my favorites Zelena 172 because they have uh, chickens You know they have a uh, real live uh, chickens here You know um, I think there's some more here you know they got their laundry going on you know it looks like these uh, people can't be bothered but you know, you gotta love these chickens. So, yeah, yeah. I would make one more stop at the currency exchange just to get some little footage there on the way back. So, let me find the crosswalk. Here it is. They're not very easy to find sometimes. But, okay, so now you see life in Ukraine. Okay, so yeah, there is a run on the banks. People are uh, lining up for the ATMs. But what I want to show you is more interesting is the exchange rates. So, yeah, it looks like the, the rates were 30 for a dollar, now they dropped back to 28. The euro was at 33 and now down to 31.50 and 45, but it was 30 and, but now they're selling, they're selling the currencies at a very high price. But I see most people, most people are actually uh, selling their uh, dollars and selling their euros and buying the grievance. But uh, yeah, this I'm always here all the time at this exchange and this is my uh, usual shopping center. You know, arson and I uh, buy my nuts here. You know, so yeah, this is all like, if you move to Avalon, Zelena, all this is nearby. And you can get nuts, and one, one other thing you get a lot of is baklava. Uh, hey, this is the guy who sells me the nuts. Hello. <laughs> so, and then upstairs is like, yeah, Foxtrot, uh, Jisk, and there's a store called Watson's. And then you can get your uh, clothes cleaned here. You know, you can get dry cleaning done. This is new in this shopping center. Well, okay, so this is all I got. Uh, for today. I'll maybe make some more videos more often if anyone is interested.